today we are going to be talking about the types of places that wildlife biologists can work. Hi, I am Dr. Stephanie Shetler and my channel is all about empowering scientists and inspiring you to conserve our natural world and I am indeed a wildlife biologist. I've been one since um, 2003, that's when I first entered this field and graduated from college. And today I am wearing a wildlife biology shirt. It's got deer on it. I also have a deer necklace too. So yay, okay. <laughs> so let's get into this. Where are the types of places that you can work as a wildlife biologist? So I have divided these up into the major places. Um, so the first one is the federal government. And this list is gonna be specific to to the United States. It will include things um, that occur outside the United States, but it's really going to be centric to the way our system is set up here, our government is set up. Um, so the federal government, so obviously there's a U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, but you can also get jobs for other agencies like the National Park Service, um, the U.S. Geological Service. Um, even the military, there's a huge list, a list the, um, the Bureau of Land Management, and I am writing a book, and I am going to have that list in the book for you. Also, I have a book to recommend for you. Let me go grab it. Okay, this book, Becoming a Wildlife Professional, it has sections in it that really details um, the types of places that you can work, and it's especially good for government jobs. Um, I only worked with the Bureau of Land Management. I don't know why I can't say that. Um, and this really goes into a lot of detail about the different um, agencies within the federal government, so I highly recommend this. <laughs> the next place that you can work in the United States is also the government, but this time it is the state government. All of the wildlife is managed by state agencies, um, and each state has their own wildlife agency. They will have different names. Um, so in here in North Carolina, it's the North Carolina um, Wildlife Resources Commission. In um, Missouri, where it was before this, it's the Missouri Department of Conservation. So you'll just have to Google what your state agency is and they will definitely hire wildlife biologists. The next place is nonprofits and NGOs, kind of the same thing. So these are going to be organizations that fundraise and um, in wildlife they're often dealing with the conservation of wildlife. So some major organizations where you can get a job are the World Wildlife Fund, the Wildlife Conservation Society, Conservation International. I work with all those organizations, they are fantastic. And um, the Nature Conservancy is also a really big one. So those are some of the big ones, but you can do a Google search and I have actually I have a job list board um, and I'll post that in the show notes here um, that um, will give you a, a detailed list of positions opening because there's a lot of local small nonprofits that do really great work and provide really awesome jobs. Okay, next place is zoos and aquariums. I had the opportunity of working at both a zoo um, oh, I was going to say an aquarium, but that's not true. It's the next one, <laughs> zoo and museum. But first, let's do zoos and aquariums. Um, so typically with wildlife biology, um, we tend to think of more terrestrial animals, um, but aquariums can have terrestrial exhibits, and you can also work with an aquarium and do um, research um, in the wild. Usually we call them marine biologists, but um, I'm lumping them together here. Um, but zoos, you can definitely do wildlife biology. I worked at Disney's Animal Kingdom, which is a zoo and a theme park. And we had a wildlife biologist because Disney owns a lot of property and they want to manage the wildlife on it. So I worked with her in 2004 on doing surveys for animals like birds and alligators. It was super fun. The next place is um, museums. Um, so museums are where I work um, right now at the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences. And museums um, traditionally don't really have um, wildlife biology positions. They were more curatorial positions. But a lot of museums now do have wildlife positions. Or, or the researcher might do both wildlife research and um, research in the lab um, or, or with the collections doing um, specimen type research. 
So at my museum, we definitely have wildlife biologists, myself and my boss, um, places like the Chicago Field Museum, the American Museum of Natural History, uh, California Academy of Sciences, they all definitely have wildlife biologists. The next place is universities. Most of these jobs will be professor jobs. And in these jobs, you will have students to mentor and they will help you conduct your research. Um, and you will have your own research program. The professors um, and at universities is kind of where you can get the most progressive with research or the most, um, not progressive, the most um, intense is the right, maybe the right word, but um, that research one institutions um, are the places where research is, is really, really focused. And then my final section that I have divided up is um, private companies, and these are going to be consulting agencies. Um, so a lot of times nonprofits or um, the government will have too much work on their hands or they might want to get an in independent third opinion. So they will hire a consulting agency to do um, some type of short term, some type of short term project for them. Um, they might, you know, survey an area. Whenever um, an area needs to be developed, um, there needs to be environmental impact surveys done, um, and wildlife biologists might go to that area and evaluate it, look for things like endangered species. I am the least familiar with consulting work um, because I've never done it. But anyways, it's definitely a place where wildlife biologists can work. So there you have it. Um, there's always exceptions to the rules, but that's the, the main, the, the biggest um, chunks, <laughs> components, types of places that you can get jobs in wildlife biology. I'm heading off to my blogging group, so I only have, I'm actually late for it, so I only have a little number amount of time, so maybe that's why I'm messing up my words. But um, thank you so much for watching, and um, I hope you catch the next video. Subscribe to my channel so you make sure you don't miss it. And if you like what you see, please share it with a friend and visit fancyscientist.com for more info. Thank you so much. Bye.